Hey there berries, welcome to 11.3 with another Nami game. We did one a little bit recently, but I don't think we managed to get the uh, the try factor of support items in. I don't think we managed to build the chem tech in that one. I think I ended up having gold for it, but didn't actually get to purchase it. Uh, but for this game, we're obviously going to be doing the same thing. There's a few things I want to talk about in this one, though, is that there's a new jinx in this game. Jinx received a health nerf, but they increased the range on her rockets, her Q. So, um, yeah, it's going to be very interesting to see how she does in lane. I'm very curious to see if the range is enough to offset the health nerf that they gave her. And I believe, someone might be able to correct me in, in, in chat or not, but I believe they did something to her traps. And I think they made it easier to activate in some form. I know there was something like that, some sort of like a minor buff on her traps, on her E. So, something to keep out of there. Root activates quicker. Okay. So, yeah. Just something to keep an eye out on. Uh, we are up against the Karma. Uh, Karma should be decent this patch. She got buff, mana buffed and also, you know, can use the trifactor of enchanter items, which is basically the mess from bot lane right now. So very aggressive double poke from both teams here. I'd say the enemy bot lane might have the slight edge until we maybe hit level six. Once we hit six, the, uh, you know, Karma having an ulti and me not having an ulti doesn't make a difference at that point. If you know what I mean. Just do those kind of safe trades whenever we can. And that is the new Karma skin, isn't it? That's the uh, the ruined Karma skin. The partnership program hasn't given me those skins yet, which is very sad face. Very sad, Ubu. Jinx missed out on some XP there. She missed... A melee minion of XP. Yeah, that skin I probably won't use too much if I do get it, the Karma one. It does look good, but actually the mantra and the spells are very too obvious. That's not in the brush. That's actually a pay to lose skin. We're up against an Udo, it's going to be difficult to crowd control him, but we'll see what we can do later on. Once he gets chem tank. Here we go. I think, yeah, this Jin's absolutely screwed. We've got people coming down. Wait, I got the kill there. I would have got that kill as well if that bubble had landed. Uh, Scorch must have got the kill there. That's unlucky. But yeah, good response from my team. Karma got the first blood as well. Um, both supports picking up a kill in that, but Yoni also gets one. Uh, we're going to take boots here because I've got no flash, fairy charm, and a control rod. Yeah, I couldn't tell if that Udo was just going to flash onto me. I was a bit surprised they went to Jin and not me, though. Because I would have died a lot quicker than the Jin, I feel. Best Jin skin. The new one that's coming out, which is, might already be out already, the... The Chinese New Year one, or whatever it's called. I don't know what it's called, but apparently that's broken right now. I don't know if it's still like that in Sumner's Rift, but in PBE, the W was invisible. The W's still invisible then, then that Jin is actually a paid to win skin.
Well, uh, just relax a little bit down here. I don't think we win until six, so. Just take it easy. I do want to try and harass a little bit so I can get gold stacks. Uda's on the Drake. 100% on the Drake right now. Are you going to go for it, Shavanna, or... Or is Uda in that brush? Oh, Uda's in the brush. I thought he was that dragon. Nice bounce. I'm missing a lot of mantra cues. I think it's more the skin though. It's just so obvious that the mantra's coming out. Like you don't want your poke spell to be that noisy and that obvious in terms of the projectile. Enemy team has dragon priority. They're on it. It's theirs. I can't stop it. I've got no normal ward to put in the brush either. If I put control in there, it just dies. So. I think Udo record. I really roasted you in the tier this Your video. Yeah, a lot of. Okay. Gen 4 shot. Okay. Crap, I thought she could back on herself. She did Mantra W. Yeah, in the tier list I mentioned about Shaco, and if you lose to Shaco, then you're probably just a bit dim. <laughs> Either that or the shake is just much, it's just super smart. That's how I feel about the, uh, the matchup. Yeah, that was the right mantra for Karma to do there. Oh, you had to miss the W there and I had to miss my bubble. Uh, if we connect our roots there, she dies. It's such an overextension there by her. Got ulti now. Oh, gen reloading is super cringe, dude. Alright. As ult, yeah, would be better. Okay, as ult did get used. Karma can't freeze that. That's fine. It's a shame I didn't get 500 gold for wards, but. Well, that's a nice little kill that we got down here. Um, screw it. I'm gonna buy another fairy charm. I'm gonna be picking up stuff for fair water anyway. I feel like I need the extra mana regen. It's been quite mana intensive down here, even with the cookies. You could totally run Font of Life now by the way with revised flies on Nami on the secondaries. It just felt like in this lane I'd run out of mana quite quickly, which we have been. I've been using up all my cookies and stuff. Oh god, this isn't great. I've got the bubble there, but you just got me. Five seconds to ulti. Nice cannon TP. Good. Uda had Herald as well, so that delays it. Twelve months. Yay me. Yay you, alright. Yay. Hey, um, thank you for the whole year. 
Thank you very much for the support for such a long time with your Prime Gaming sub. Yeah, so far so good. It's okay. It's going okay right now. There's been some nice team coordination with some of the stuff that's been happening. Yone is not doing very well though. Yeah, running the double fairy charm basically means that you shouldn't have any mana issues now. There's no wards in the lane here. Actually, that Karma's already got Moonstone, but she has no boots. Which is an interesting decision. I mean, yeah, she has the move movement speed with her E. I don't know, I think it's worth missing out. Bit risky missing out on boots or even the cooldown reduction boots before going to Moonstone. Okay, that was a crab bubble. Got three people mid, that's why I'm putting that ward there. That's might we might be losing that mid turret as well. With that Herald. So I needed some vision coverage behind. Walking into those mantras now. She's baiting. don't know if that's Saw Shavana, it would have been really close. I think they know she's here. Can't get in closer than that. I think that's, yeah, Jin overstayed there like crazy. The Jinx is pretty low though. Yeah, it's a shame we didn't get anything from that. I'm still a little way off for Moonstone. I can get Kindle Gem, but I'm 600 gold behind. So the enemy team are on plus two dragons right now. Okay, that bot lane misses a little bit of XP though. Mega Nar ready. Oh dear. This Ezra mid's actually been doing pretty nice. He's 40 CS ahead now. It's going to be a difficult game. Kills are close, but the goal is like plus the Drakes is uh, it's getting pretty banged. That's a huge bubble. That was a, yeah, that was a massive bubble. Beautiful. Good. You need to be careful. Okay, Uda's top side. I was about to say we need to be careful of Uden, but if 
But so far I haven't really seen Jinx particularly. The buffs don't seem to be too... I'm trolling. I am actually trolling, dude. Okay, thank god Shavan is here. Walking into that trap was really stupid. Luckily nothing bad came of it. That was one of those blunders that usually gets punished heavily. I've got a chance to use the new item yet. Um, Chemtech Putrefire. This is game number four and I haven't been able to, to buy it yet. I think it's going to be common to be able to afford all three support items. It's just like if the game goes longer than like 25, 30 minutes, then you'll uh, be able to have it. There we go. There's nothing I can do to help that gen. Managed to bubble the Jinx there, which helps. Kennen, oh my god, that's gonna be huge. Nice job. I love that this Kennen's been paying attention to the uh, the situation in the bot lane. Get the bit an idol. Yeah, that bubble and the jinx just made it, so it just took a tad too long for them to kill me. Much easier to bubble the jinx than bubbling the Uda. But it's very important that we get this dragon, otherwise they'll be on three drakes. Yeah, that was a massive win for us. I don't know still about that. Yeah. Okay, there's too much stuff going down here. Ken isn't nearby. The only phase hasn't ended yet. Oh my god, here we go. Ken tank. You did. Uh, so much movement speed. You got the phase rush, the chem tank, the uh, the plus five percent from the wing boom. And you got the uh, swiftness as well. It is a lot. Cannon has ulti, but this isn't exactly the prime ult location. Okay, might just have to give up this turret. I'm not sure we want to stick around here. Got to be super careful about the Uda. It's going to be so hard warding because if he is there, I'm 100% dead. Like, even if I have an ally around and he goes, decides to go for me, I die. There's like nothing I can do about it. Um, we're down all tier 1 turrets and we haven't taken a single enemy turret. It's causing a lot of issues here in terms of like Uda has a lot of free reign now. The best answer we have for Uda is just staying together. He's got Dead Man's Plate now. Uda's top. Kennen has ulti. Jen has ulti too. Do you want to go for it? Need to hear the Uda more than the um the Ezra. 
Okay. We're losing a lot down mid though, and Yoni's not doing anything about it. We just keep losing map pressure right now. What is this Nami skin? Cosmic Nami. If you're wondering what um, yellow this game is, this is Diamond 2, 75 LP at the moment. So not too far away from Diamond 1. Kill wise is very close, but it's like the turrets, the tier 1 turrets are causing us a lot of issues right now. And yeah, Ude is someone that can basically kind of just duo the uh, the Baron, but he's at the Drake at the moment. There's a ward there right now that needs to go before. Baron's 50, uh, Dragon is 50 seconds away. I don't want to spend any more wards resources up on this top side when Dragon's up. Oh, are you kidding me? Dude? Oh no. Phase rush. I'm gonna die. Not sure how Jin got caught out like that. But him dying opened up to me and the Shavanna. I think Shavanna maybe should have just committed into that fight, but it's gonna be their dragon now. Ugh, there's nothing you can do about that. I mean, he's got no flash now, but... <laughs> it's ridiculous, the movement speed, man. And this Ez is uh, very strong from the mid lane as well. The only champion on this team, on the enemy team, that isn't having any relevance right now is the Jinx. Shavana's got no ulti. She has flash, but yeah. Need to be careful now. That could end up being... Oh no, we did lose Baron. They did do Baron. Didn't even notice that. I thought they were at Drake. So they get Baron, they get Drake. I think we now lose. Shavana's fallen behind as well. She's only on 1-4. Yone is not really doing anything for us right now. <laughs> Only enough to Jinx was the base HP, I believe so. Just the base HP, like 50 HP level 1, which is a lot. But her range did get buffed. All right, we have to play mega defensively and hope that we get a decent um, cannon ulti. Holy crap. Nearly got one shot, or two shot there, whatever you want to call it. The WQ. That S damage is... Super high, man. And that was a massive screw up there by now. I don't know what the hell he was doing there. Holy crap, dude. We got a bail. Ez is kiting us out way too well. Oh, that's a bubble, though! Oh, no. Double bubble under the fountain. It's not going to be enough for the Jinx, though. Look at that movement speed, though. Oh, 
All right. We don't even lose a tier three after that, and we actually go up plus one kill and shutdown wise. It's decent on the shutdown front as well. Shavana picked up both bounties then. But I mean, that was with some massive mistakes though, right? <laughs> that was non overextending like crazy, and then we overextended, and then they overextended. It's just. I, just, I don't know. That's with our turret helping us out there as well, so I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if we'll be that lucky again with Ezreal just walking into our bubble. That was probably the big one. Oh crap. Okay. Okay, well, that's interesting to note that. Uh, The UNA's damage is absolutely disgustingly bad right now. You just have to play mega mega defensively for two minutes until Drake. got our backs against the wall right now we just can't do anything the chemtech third item but I don't know if we actually get enough cash this game to even get it Murado for sure next item uh, not Murado sorry Oblivion Orb next item while waiting for that to come through talking about opening actually letting me have the cloud soul it's <laughs> Cloud Soul with Udyr with his movement speed is actually going to be ridiculous. I don't know if we can give that. Yeah, that movement speed would be actually way too good. Kennen used Ignite, but it was from Spellbook. That's okay. Oh, Dragon Baron coming up. I, don't, I need wards. I can't be around here anymore. I can't even buy a time. Oh, no, 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 no. Why are you face checking, guys? Guys, 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 guys. I can wait for a time and it'll control it. Screw it. Come on. Right, they don't know that's warded. Journey's got ulti. We messed up everything. Okay, beautiful. Fantastic. They're gonna get both. That's the cloud soul for them. Do we stop them from doing Baron? I think we give Baron. <sighs> Look at that movement speed, 700. Can't even slow him either because of the phase rush and his boost of swiftness. It's tier three bot blast. I don't understand the general. We have to kill Nar and then like we'll lose Baron off it, but no. Okay. Basically, letting them have everything, I guess. I don't want that ward there. I don't want Nar to TP. Nar is pushing our base. This is. We're getting out macroed here super hard. Karma's dead, but like, I don't know, man. This is.
We're losing our base. Yeah, the cloud solving speed is busted on the Uda. Holy crap, dude. If it wasn't busted already. With the other stuff. Yeah, it's gonna be game now. The better play there would just have Kennen defend and then have to TP over. So we're down on Nexus turret, we're down two in hips. Should have just let them have the Baron, honestly. Because now it's impossible for us to leave our base with the inhibs. supports the dead but it's better for them like trading like this is better for them since we've got no base jinx is dead but then maybe shavana jin can't kill the nah Kennen kills the ezreal but there's still an udo running around if jin can survive this It's a tough defend with the 2v2 here. I mean, I'm up in a second. Maybe it won't be too bad. They might be overextending here, actually. Got the Uda in the bubble somehow. Possible to keep him slowed for long because of phase rush and the boost of swiftness. It's like it's 75% slow resistance, and, and then you got the extra. How much is it even again? 25%? It's additive, so it's like it's got like 80 something percent slow reduction. We've got no Nexus turret. I'm dead. Jen, please just press the buttons. Yeah. Shavana's on the wrong side there as well. GG. It was inevitable that Estelle's just going to come through though. We had to do a little bit more there. I think the main problem with that game wasn't even necessarily the Udyr, it was actually the Ezreal. Oh, you only had no impact that game whatsoever because of the enemy Ezreal. Yeah, I basically did as much damage as Yone that game in a 33 minute game. Yone is meant to be a very, very good late game. Look at the Ez's damage, 41k. So, yeah, that was actually the, the big one. Udyr obviously was a pain in the ass that game, but... It was much more the Ezreal. Because, yeah, if I'm playing Nami and I'm doing 10k less, uh, not 1k less damage than a Yone, plus I'm doing all my utility and healing and warding and stuff, then that mid laner just becomes absolutely garbage. So, yeah. It is what it is. Well, we can have a look at the healing here. Um, if it lets me. I swear this client's bugging out more. Just click the healing. Why is it swapping the, the thing? 
this client sucks dude just click on the ally healing i no i need that checked and that checked stop you don't need to move the check what is this game doing dude i can't even look at this Why is it glitching? Alright, I managed to fix it somehow. Alright, we managed to get that checked and that checked. So ally shielding karma did 5.3k. Wait, that's not even... No, no, that's not right. What? It's going on. <laughs> I don't know, I understand this client. I'm assuming that shielding at the bottom, even though it's not checked, and then the top one's healing to ally healing. Holy moly, dude. I actually got a headache because of that. Oh my god. Alright. Anyway. So we did 8.9k healing in that game. Um, so if you add up the shields and the heals from Karma considering she was ahead that game she basically did the same as me um but she probably was higher on the actual damage meters though right oh my god it's gonna glitch out again isn't it oh my god what is this game doing dude i haven't got this selected what <laughs> oh my god i can't look at stats man anymore man this is so stupid Healing done, damage tick, damage, which was damage dealt, which bar is it, chat? True damage taken. What? Total damage to champions is that top bar. All right. 12k I did. I actually did more damage than karma that game. Interesting. I guess that includes the, the E stuff as well. Sorry, I just really wanted to see the, the the actual damage stats. I don't, I don't know how Riot manages to do spawn thing and then just mess up everything. This client is something special, man. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the the room room Uda and the uh, the tilting client. Fingers crossed, we actually get the trifactor of items put in. If this game somehow makes it over to the YouTube, even with the tilting stat screen at the end, um. I hope you consider subscribing. If you're watching on Twitch, don't forget to follow and don't forget to stay very awesome.